Hello there. I've had a change of heart as to how I'm looking at the, the ticket I got from uh, Trooper Warnick. Today I rode around to Wanda with some signs, and the signs were on my bicycle, on both the front and the back, and it mentions a $107 fine plus points having anything on your mirror. And uh, here's a letter to the editor that was just published in the review, and it's... it's um, titled Atoning for One's Sins. Dear Editor, after getting nailed with a hundred plus dollar ticket for having my late father's string ties hanging from my mirror by Trooper Warnick, I just decided that Trooper Warnick actually did me and some of you a favor. God works in many mysterious ways, and thanks to Trooper Warnick, I now realize how dangerous anything is on one's dashboard or on the rear view mirrors. Further thanks to Trooper Warnick's intervention, I have now become the Johnny Appleseed of mirror education and have already given out around 300 warning notices to those in violation so as to allow them to change their ways. Actually, that figures up to over 500. I've also sent emails and or faxes to all of our banks and drive up fast food places to ask them to educate their customers. I have done the same with Osram and DuPont in the hope that they care enough about their employers to educate them. I have also contacted the Bradford County Chamber of Commerce. Hopefully, this paper will run an article on the dangers of having things obscuring the driver's view. I know that the VFW and the American Legion should